Is it cold up there? Are you wearing a, a big jacket? Is it cold? I've just been out. I've just been out on the river. My mum lives uh, on the river, and uh, so we've just been outside eating. So I'm coming with my jacket on. <laughs> You've been a, a solo artist for a while. I mean, you did the uh, the bedroom series. I remember on Kite, and you you know you did a lot of interesting stuff, and and you finally um, you formed Graffiti Six. How how did the duo come about? Um, it was a suggestion of my old a &R guy, um, where he was just like, you know, um, he just basically knew Tommy. I, it, 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 looking back, it's really, it's an obvious thing because if you knew Tommy, you knew me, you probably know we get on really well. We, you know, we have the same kind of personality. Yeah. We're into the same kind of music, although I was a bit more brought up on folk. He was a bit more, you know, dance, uh, hip hop, but. We've just got very similar tastes in music and, and playing, and where, where we play instruments, and we just got on. I've been lucky enough, and since I was young, to be always surrounded by very talented musicians and people. When I was younger, I was on, I was signed to Sony for a solo project, and I got to work with Toby Smith, who was the keyboardist and met, um, one of the main writers with Jay on Jamiroquai stuff, and. That was a learning curve, and you know, I've just been—I've always been really lucky to be around amazing musicians, and you know, I, I play most instruments myself. Uh, to what, what, to what standard? That's probably open for the debate, but uh, that that has enabled me to really meet some people like Tommy and sit in a room with them and and have our completely our own feel on the album. You work with great musicians, but you're also inspired by great musicians. Yeah, I mean, my, my dad, my dad was a big was a big soul um, soul fan. Really big into Marvin Gaye, Donny Hathaway, Curtis Mayfield, um, uh, Otis Redding. Those voices were always being heard when I was younger. And then alongside that, my mum was really big into folk singers, so you know, or, or folk music, whatever that is. So you know, Joan, Joni Mitchell, Bob Dylan. Joan Baez, you know, and I, so I had these kind of amazing songs and then amazing like vocals and it's just kind of, I suppose I, I grew up wanting to write songs like these guys and sing like these guys. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think is the most personal song on, on the record? I think Over You and Free both are really, really, really 100% written straight about how I was feeling about the, the, the situation I used to, you know, I wrote my last album about. There's one thing in life that I've, never thought about doing or worried about and it's having a guitar in front of me and singing in front of people so the fact that I'm singing songs that have been written about things in my life that when I was having a bad time you know it's cool that you remember these things because it makes you perform them better and actually to be honest with you I've got quite of a side of me which I think a lot of people have which is it's no fun you know being happy the whole time you need a bit of hurt you need a bit of I've got a bit of a self-destruct button, I suppose, and I, I need a bit of, you know, I want to get on stage and I want to remember um, feeling really bad because, uh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, you, you express that on stage and you know you can go through people, you know, you, people, you can see it in people when, when you're t singing about something that they've been through and that feeling as a songwriter is really what you want. I can't quite sometimes comprehend, you know, the, the transition that's gone on in the last year. I mean, um, from me and Tommy setting up the collaboration, uh, starting the album, to me living in, you know, in America and being signed to Capital and it being received so well over, over with you guys. It's it's kind of, um, it's just amazing. And I, I just now hope that it can continue and I can carry on performing out there and, and people um, get to hear the music. That's that's what I want, really. The album Colors is coming out somewhere at the end of the Some, summer, in the fall? So, yeah, exactly. Somewhere um, somewhere at the end of the year or the you know, beginning of next year. We don't know yet, but uh, as soon as it's re as soon as soon people want it, it's going to be there. Yeah, and you like living in Los Angeles? Half of the I love it, man. Sunny, beach, music, what more can you want? Thank you so much for your support, man. It means so much, and I uh, hope to see you very soon, dude. I'll see you soon, Brennan. Bye-bye. Cheers, man. Take care.